the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video I'm going to be changing I don't even know what you call this this is like the wall you see when you walk in my door I'm gonna make it a gallery wall and I thought it would be fun to turn on the camera and share it with you now right now I have something different up here and I'm gonna show you what I have and then I'm gonna show you and then we'll just put it together and see how it looks this wall has just been like really plain, but it has some fun memories. So I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm just going to move it to another part of the house. My hair is falling. Okay, got my hair back up. So when you walk in, this is what you see. We're leaving our former congregation, one of the gifts that our congregation gave us was this picture frame that has all of these. There's a heart in here from each one of the members of our congregation with just either their name or a message. So. In this picture frame, there's a hole up here. It's right over here. And you drop the wooden heart into it. So they made us a frame full of love. And I had this picture that said, love is patient, love is kind, that went with it. It came with this gift. And as you can see, it has our name on it, Walter and Christy Vaughn. Uh, and it has two scriptures, 1 Corinthians 3, 6 and 7, the scripture about love and then Proverbs 1824 and this tree has fingerprints on it see those fingerprints so my friend Lizetta had different color ink pads and everybody in the congregation dipped their finger on the ink pad put it on a limb of the tree and then signed their name so that is our family tree right it's a family tree full of love from our congregation. We thought that was such a nice gesture and the heart frame came, the frame full of hearts came with it too. So we're gonna move that over here next to the frame that's on our wall. Those two pictures down there on the floor are pictures that my husband and I drew when we went to um, one of those paint um, places, paint and sip. He did, this is my husband's, he's really talented. He painted this horse and this is my horse. Don't worry about her, I know she looks sick, but hey, we had fun with it. So my husband wanted to put that on the wall and <clears throat> I'm wondering if I can somehow make it work, but I think it'll just be too much. So, I don't know. Let's see what we come up with. So I'm going to take these down first. So that's the slot that you drop them in. And we could have added to it or you can buy these and put anything that you like in them. This was such a nice thought. So I'm going to sit this to the side. still has command strips on it so I just wanted to like the thing is I feel like if I add the mixed tiles I feel that it'll be too busy okay who already knew that my husband was gonna come and get involved Raise your hand if you already knew he was going to come and get involved. I thought he was going to let me do it, but of course, I never do it right. So after some trial and error, trying out the pictures that he really wanted, he was like, that's going to be too much on that wall. It's going to be too busy. And here, let me show you how it's supposed to be done. So I solicited his help throughout the whole project because... I know nothing about leveling off the area, making sure it's straight. It probably would have been super crooked. We probably would have been arguing about it. 
you can already see from the look on his face that I he already thinks I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yay, husband, for all of your help because it was very much appreciated. So here he is making sure that we have a straight line for where the wording is going to go. It says, this is us, our life, our story, our home. And when I saw it online, I thought it was perfect. I actually tried to find some wall decor that said it. And everything was either too big or it just wasn't right. So I got the uh, decal word letter decals from Amazon. I'll also put the link to that down in the description box. I did have technical difficulties with one of the letters, but my husband has a really straight hand, so he was able to get that T back on there for me. And the rest of it came off super easy. I'm very pleased with it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. So now it's time to move on to adding the mixed tiles. So after getting Mister's help for a little while, I got kind of cocky and thought I could do it by myself. But I soon realized that this was the most difficult part with the top was because I really couldn't hold everything on my own um, and get it done. And also, my husband was really good at measuring the distance between stuff and making sure it was pretty even etc etc and i i have no clue when it comes to that so back to the rescue here comes mister I meant to show you this before I took the pictures out, but this is how they came packaged. Four in each uh, section, so four in there, and then the paper would be on top. And then it was four in this uh, layer, and then the paper is on top. And then this is the last layer. I had 12, about 12. The Valentine's Day special was 12 for 69. It was originally 100 and something. Um, and then 
the top of the package was on it like this I'm sorry I'm using one hand but this was how it was packaged and in the side of the box just says mixed tiles the package wasn't heavy they're really light you can get them with frame or without frame I got them without frame just the canvas and I love them I, I'll buy these again so if you're interested in that as well there'll be a link in the description box to the website so here we are finishing up the gallery wall you guys how do you think it looks I absolutely love them my husband thinks that it was a great idea I think this is the perfect scene for you to see when you walk into my house and I absolutely love them so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that this encourages you to go do something special with your entryway or a wall that you would like to do a gallery wall with. I absolutely enjoyed it and I think it really added to my All right, I was editing the video and I realized that I hadn't shared with you why I chose these pictures and I really wanted to do it. So this, this saying here, this is us, our life, our story, our home, really speaks to, it was the theme behind the pictures that I chose. So let me go, I'm gonna start from the bottom. This is a, my absolute favorite picture of my husband and I. So I chose this one. I know it's the only one black and white, but I love it. We are Jehovah's Witnesses and a lot of what we do is centered around our ministry and our um, congregation. This was a picture that we took at an evening gathering for the international convention that we just had in 2019. I love this picture. Here's a picture that a friend snapped of us when we were out in our uh, ministry. This was the day that we closed on our home. This was our favorite adventure, horseback riding. My husband loved it. Uh, and I love the picture that we took. I like this picture of him. I wanted one of each one of us separate. And I really like this picture. It was at our old house before we moved here. And this was also at our old house. It was a, the day I interviewed, I think, for the HR position. And I had on makeup, and I just looked really, really cute. This was at a circuit assembly um, of Jehovah's Witnesses. We weren't posing for the camera, but I noticed we were laughing at something somebody was saying. And I saw somebody in my peripheral taking our picture, and I looked at her at the same time she snapped it. And I feel like it came out perfect. This is a vacation we took at the beach. You can't really tell, but that's water behind us. We had a great time. This was at the Black Panther. Um, uh, we went to see Black Panther and they had the red carpet where you could take pictures. And I thought I was super cute on that picture. So that's why I love that one. This one was when we traveled to Jacksonville to a friend's wedding. And then this was at an annual meeting. My dress was so cute that day. And I really liked that picture. So every picture on this wall has a story. And it's all about us. And so that's why I chose the pictures that I did. And I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.